So here is my fake marble table. Yeah, it was done with Dollar Tree paper. So let me go ahead and show you what I will be working with. So a while ago, my husband DIY me a, uh, a topper for my cabinets. This is my beauty room. And uh, with the move, of course, there's some damage to my furniture. I had rhinestones here. <laughs> rhinestones were everywhere with the move. And I wanted something that gave me a cleaner and newer look. So I went to Dollar Tree and I found this marble paper and I also grabbed this transparent paper. So when I flip the top of the table, there's nothing done to the other side. And that is the part that I will be working with. And also these are the stands that my husband created so I could put more things underneath. You do have to measure whatever you are going to apply that contact paper on. You see me here using scissors and you know along the way I learned a few tricks. So if you are, I am so crooked when it comes to cutting in straight lines. So if you have a blade and a ruler you can also do that. Um, so here practically what I'm going to do is to cover wherever I want that contact marble look. I want it you know to wrap it with this contact paper. Now this piece right here is wood well all of it is wood but this is rougher so the contact paper is not gonna stick as i wanted it to so you can use glue here i didn't i will be using a lot of tape yeah tape is my best friend you know i'm just gonna apply tape on those places that i feel that it needs more more what <laughs> that it needs to be more stable Okay, and um, here I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, just do it to each piece that will be visible for me. And here is my handy dandy tape. You can also use glue or, or whatnot. Um, I am not a professional. You, you should know that by now. And uh, again, this is just for me, for my beauty room. I'm just sharing how I did it. So here you can see the before and the after. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing to the other piece. Once I'm done with those pieces, then it comes a real struggle for me anyway. I went ahead and used a credit card, whatever card you have, and um, and practically you are going to lay, well, prior to that, okay, you do have to clean the table. You wanna make sure that it's clean. I even applied some alcohol on the wood just to make sure that it was nice and clean. And along the way, after I was almost done, right, I learned that if you mix a little bit of Windex with a drop of soap, then the contact paper will lay down even better. I know, I didn't do that because I didn't know that. But it worked out anyways. This is the final result. Do I have some bubbles? Yeah, I do. Um, here you can see that um, there's a couple of lines on top of the table because um, I didn't have enough, so I had to get some more. Anyways, I hope that this video helped you in any way or form. And like always, I will see you on my next video. Hasta la vista. Adios.